Hello, Tex Andrews with the Light Zone Project. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about regions in Light Zone and how to use them, how to set them for selective editing. The regions were the first way that Light Zone uh, did selective editing when the program was first released back in 2005 and 2006, and it still remains one of the easier and most direct ways to do selective editing in LightZone. So, I have deployed a zone mapper tool. I've made some changes to the tool. These changes affect the contrast of this image globally. Just so you see, I'll deselect the tool, reselect the tool, you see the contrast increases. Let's say I don't want these contrast changes to affect the entire image. Well, that's easy to do using a region. I can select an area where I want the changes to occur only, or I can protect an area where I don't want the changes to occur. So let's go up here to the Editor Module toolbar and select from this icon right here, Region Mode, all the way on the right-hand side of all those icons and when we click that, we see three possible regions. I'm going to select the polygon regions first. Note that my cursor has changed from an arrow or whatever cursor type you use to a point and a little plus sign. So I can start with a left click. That sets my first point. And for each successive point, I left click. And that sets a point. And then my final point, I double click and that sets the region. If I want to add a point to this, I can then scroll over the outer line and I can left click and set a new point. I can drag these points to change where they are. And if I want to delete a point, I can go and right click over top of the point and here is a drop-down menu. One of the options is delete point, the third option. But you can also see that there's hide regions, hide the inner region, which is this line here, delete the point, delete the region altogether. I'm double clicking back on the region that makes the entire thing appear. And here I can set the feathering by moving the inner region. Now, the way this is set up, it is associated with this tool. And now, the changes that I made through this tool are affecting only this area within the region. They are strongest within the inner region area. And this feathering area that I have set and can be reset, set wherever you want, the strength of the changes diminishes as you move from the inner line to the outer line. Well, let's say we actually want to protect this area and we don't want the changes to occur here. We can hit Invert Mask. And now all these changes are happening outside of this area. And the feathering is then reversed. It's strongest here at the outer edge and then diminishes on the inside and now no effect is taking place in here. We can use multiple regions in Light Zone and so here I can set a new region. Let's say I want to have extra contrast here or less contrast there. I want to protect it from being having contrast because I have the invert mask selected. I can deselect that. Now this tulip bed here and this tulip bed have more contrast. So now I can move my points around, I can add points, etc. I'm going to delete these two regions and show you the other types. The next region that I'll talk about is the Bezier region. I'll select that. This one's a very simple one to create. Once again, left click to set a point. Left click again and double left click and that ends our shape. Got a kind of an egg shape here. I can change the feathering and there we have it. Note also that I can and have been setting control points outside the image area. That's absolutely possible and it's an excellent idea to do that. 
With this one, if I pull one of the control points, you'll notice, I hope, that it changes the shape of the entire region. If I do this one, you can see, especially here at the back end of the egg shape, that that is changing where it is. Sometimes that's not a great idea, so I'm going to delete this. And now I'll select the spline region, and I will create the control points for that. Left click, left click, left click. And now you see the control points are not on the line at all. Oops. Let's delete this point. I did that by mistake. Okay, so now the control points are outside the outer line. I can still adjust the feathering. But in this case, with the spline tool, if I select this control point over here and start changing the shape of it, I'm affecting this area out here, but this area out here is being much less affected. There is a little bit of a, an effect, but once again, if I move this control point around, it's affecting this much less. Again, with the Bezier tool, as you move one of these control points, the whole shape changes, and that's true a little bit in the spline tool, but the effects are lessened. You can see that this side stays a little flatter as I pull this tool up. So that's the first part of our regions discussion. In the next part, I'm going to talk about how you can copy and paste regions across tools.